Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and it's finally happened. Amazon has now moved past the original launch anyway warning and they've started fully blocking certain apps on Fire TV devices. If you saw my previous video, you'll know that stage one was just a warning. But now we've entered stage two and the changes are much more aggressive. So let's break down exactly what's happening and what your options are right now. Over the past couple of weeks, people reported seeing a warning screen when opening certain apps. You were given two choices, launch anyway and uninstall. That was Amazon's grace period, a heads up that the app was going to be disabled soon. But now that screen has been updated. The launch anyway button has been removed completely. Instead, you'll only see uninstall and dismiss. And once an app reaches this point, it cannot be opened at all. Pressing dismiss simply closes the warning. It won't launch the app. This is the first time Amazon has pushed a full device level block like this on Fire Sticks. So this is a major update. If this has popped up for you, let me know in the comments. Tell me your country, which Fire Stick model you use and which app is affected so we can see exactly where this rollout is hitting first and which apps. A lot of people have tried uninstalling the app and reinstalling it. Now, unfortunately, that does not reset the warning window. The second Amazon recognizes the app, it gets disabled immediately, even on a fresh install. Now this tells us something important. Amazon is identifying these apps based entirely on their package name, not the version you install and not where it came from. Because Amazon is blocking based on package names, users and developers have been finding workarounds. Now here are the three methods people are using. Some app developers have released new versions that have an entirely different internal name. Since the Fire Stick blacklist doesn't match that new name, the app works normally. These versions are guaranteed to work and can be found on my downloads page. Just use downloader code 28907, open a web browser on another device, such as your phone, tablet or computer, and grab a token. Then download the new versions. Some users are taking the original app and cloning it so it installs under a completely new identity. Now this works for a lot of apps because Amazon sees it as a totally different package. However, some apps don't like being modified and may refuse to connect until patched. So this isn't a guaranteed fix. Plus, Amazon is already reacting to this. They recently removed a cloner app from their own app store. So app cloning now requires a bit more effort. There are also unofficial community versions floating around that have clean package names and extra patches to make them run without detection. But you have to spend time looking for them and they might not always be a reliable source. Amazon isn't targeting everything. Right now, Amazon blocks are hitting apps that provide direct access to unlicensed content, require no configuration from the user, immediately connect to streaming servers the moment you open them. So apps like Kodi, Plex, Jellyfin, MB and TVMate and other general media players are not being targeted because those apps don't provide content themselves. They only play the media that the user adds or configures manually. This aligns with what we've seen across all reports so far. Also, a quick reminder, if you are using any unlicensed apps, you should always keep your streaming private. 
I use NordVPN on my Fire TV and phone whenever I'm traveling or on public Wi-Fi. Now this won't bypass Amazon's new block, but it does keep your activity secure and private. You'll find the link in the pinned comment. If one of your apps is now fully blocked, here's the simplest fix. Install the latest version with a new package name. I've added updated versions to my downloads page so you can install a clean, unflagged copy. Use downloader code 28907 or head directly to my downloads page to grab the newest version or the latest clone. If you reinstall the old version, the one with the original package name, Amazon will block it instantly. Quick recap now, here's everything that's changed. Amazon has removed Launch Anyway. Blocked apps can no longer be opened, only uninstall or dismiss options remain. Reinstalling the same version does not bypass the block. Amazon is identifying apps by package name and updated or cloned versions with new package names do work. Kodi like media players are not being targeted. Apps that are being targeted are those that allow direct access to unlicensed content. Updated apps are available on my downloads page. This is the biggest enforcement change we've ever seen on Fire TV, and I'll continue updating you as Amazon expands the rollout. If this helped, hit subscribe, tap the bell, and check the link in the description for the current list of blocked apps. If you want direct help with your Fire Stick, access to content I can't post publicly, or priority replies, check out my channel memberships. Members get into my private chat group where I answer questions personally. Just tap join below. Make sure you subscribe for more streaming tips and device guides. Plus, give me a follow over on X and TikTok and check out the Tanders Tech YouTube channel for more streaming content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.